In the world, there's a fascinating question some of us are asking ourselves what would have happened if, in the 2016 US presidential election, Hillary Clinton had won instead of Donald Trump? The answer is simple, the United States would have been a very different place. Interested in learning more? Then stay with us in this video and find out. Strain relations with China Whenever a different president wins in the United States, the entire structure of the country changes depending on whether the political party is different as well. Donald Trump is a Republican and Hillary Clinton belongs to the Democratic Party. In this case, Trump's administration changed not only his country but the whole world. In a hypothetical case in which Clinton had won the election, a notorious change would be present. Relations with China would not be as we know them. Obama until the end of his term maintained stable trade relations with China. Although there were the typical conflicts, extremely capitalist and the other extremely communist, it is normal for this to happen. What changed everything was the presidency of Trump, who chose to start a trade war against China. It was in 2018 when Trump banned the sale of Huawei brand smartphones of Chinese origin, because not only was it winning in the competition against American cell phones, but also Trump and his administration suspected that China was using these cell phones to spy on American citizens. Whether true or not, this blockade involved one of the biggest feuds in the political history of both countries, marking this period as the race to success between the two nations. If Hillary Clinton were to be the winner of the elections, perhaps relations with China would be calmer right now, since she would follow the same strategic line as her historical ally, Barack Obama. However, if we talk about tensions, we cannot affirm the same in terms of wars, since if Clinton were the President of the United States, Possibly today this country would be in a war with some Middle Eastern power. Why do we affirm this? We will see it in the next point. Conflicts Although it is impressive to hear, Donald Trump was one of the few presidents in the history of North America not to have a single war in his four years in office. And another incredible fact is that he was the first to strengthen ties with North Korea, the most hermetic nation in Asia. Obama had several military interventions in foreign countries. Among them, we can mention the conflict in Afghanistan that began in 2001 as well as the intervention in Iraq in 2011. Hillary Clinton was indirectly involved in these conflicts against the Middle East. She was one of the first to affirm the death of Osama bin Laden since she was then the Secretary of State of the country. She was also involved in the operation to hunt down former dictator Muammar Gaddafi. Months later, she laughingly stated the following phrase regarding the dictator's demise. We came, we saw, he died. It is certain that if Hillary Clinton had won the US elections, she would have continued with several wars in the Middle East, including the one in Afghanistan, which ended due to the terrible strategic management of Joe Biden's administration by paying too little attention to the terrorist leaders of this rogue nation. Immigration Reform It is very clear to us what was and is currently Trump's position regarding illegal foreign immigrants, and in his electoral campaign, although he has not fulfilled it, the controversial president proposed to build a wall so that Mexican and Latin American foreigners, in general, would not cross the country illegally. Although he did not carry it out, he had a harsh response to illegal migrations, something that would have been different if Hillary Clinton had become president. We can get a small glimpse of what the country had been like under these reforms. In her election campaign, the Democratic candidate promised a comprehensive immigration reform that would include a path to citizenship for undocumented immigrants and even wanted to push for a government support program called DREAMers, in which she gave aid to children brought into the country illegally. Positive aspects of her proposals Regarding health care, Hillary wanted to continue with the Obamacare project which tried to apply lower prices to the high rates that private health care has in the country, something that continues to be a big problem for the United States. In addition to this, he planned to reduce drug costs, something from which the American society also suffers to a great extent. Another aspect that would have been positive for the country was his educational proposal, in which he advocated a reduction in student debt. To give a context, most Americans always choose private universities, which have high prices but ensure a better future for those who finish a degree. The problem is that for low-income people to attend these universities, they must go into debt for many years, even without being able to pay off the debt for decades. That is why Hillary sought to reduce this kind of borrowing. In general, although Democrats get involved in conflicts, among other negative things, they usually promote measures for the welfare of middle and lower class citizens in the country, an aspect that contrasts with the Trump administration. 
If we meditate for a few seconds, we can understand the fentanyl crisis and other heavy substances as a symptom of the government's neglect of the problems suffered by the middle class, since poverty, lack of education, unemployment, and a crisis in public health creates a society prone to addictions, an unrecognizable world. The United States tends to have a clear pattern in terms of the election of its presidents. From time to time they tend to vary between four to eight years from a Republican administration to a Democratic one. With this in mind, if Hillary Clinton won and finished her term, a Republican administration would follow. What would a president, whether Trump or any other of this party, do if we take as an example the conflicts that have occurred recently? We take it for granted that Biden keeps a low profile in the face of a war crisis in Europe and the Middle East, due to a lack of authority and military force. According to Trump in an interview, he claims that the war in Ukraine would not have happened, because he would have sat down both presidents and immediately there would have been a mutual agreement. Does that mean that the massacre that exists today in Ukrainian territory would not have happened? All these questions, if they had had different outcomes, we would be facing a different world today, don't you think? Undoubtedly, it is both entertaining and informative to imagine the possibilities of an alternative victory for one president or another not only in the United States but also in any other nation. This is because a country can vary significantly depending on the policies and actions taken. Do you think what we have seen in this video is correct? What alternative story could you recommend for the next video? Leave me your answer below in the comment box. And if you liked the video please leave a like and subscribe to this channel to see more similar videos and activate the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you when we upload a new video. We upload videos every week, don't miss it. You won't regret it. See you next time.